long time no see so a lot has been going on since the last time I recorded I think <laughs> I haven't recorded anything since honestly Tuesday just because this week has been so unbelievably busy like I've been trying to make some changes and stuff because I decided to go back to school to do this uh, program uh, just because although I like where I work well my field I just realized that my end goal is to be a lawyer and I need to start working within like legal offices and stuff so I'm gonna go get a certification done so that I can start working in that atmosphere just to get me around law and just used to it and stuff like that so I've been running around town trying to get all the documents together and trying to um, interview schools to see which school is the best for me to get it done because the course I'm trying to start is in January so we're almost in December and I kind of wanted to get the ball rolling and everything done before the Christmas holidays come around because you know people start taking holidays and then of course with like businesses being closed I don't want uh, it to take um, longer than necessary for me to know for sure like okay come January I'm gonna go to school and then I have to get Maya set up with daycare and stuff like that because I want her to get used to daycare before I go back to work just to make myself feel better so that's what I've been doing running around doing school stuff and daycare stuff for Maya so I finally have everything handled I guess not really handled but I kind of have everything done to the point that I can breathe and I just have to wait for notification about some stuff so I will keep you guys posted on that and what else nothing much is going on like I'm at my mom's house right now because I left my hair to run errands because as you can see It's snowing so I didn't want to have mine in the car with me because I just I hate driving in the snow on my own but especially if I'm ha if I have Maya I don't want to take her out with me unless it's absolutely necessary plus like putting her in and taking her out and stuff it's much worse in the winter time so I just went by myself to run the errands and later on I think we're just gonna be in the house just because ain't no point in being out I think everyone left work early today just so they don't have to be out in the snow longer than they have to so I think we're gonna make pizza I'm not sure we'll see how that goes because I haven't made the uh, the dough yet and I think you're supposed to let the dough sit for at least an hour for it to be like fluffy so I'll record that if I do anything and then I'll just record whatever else we have going on I do actually want to start decorating for Christmas so this weekend I'm going to go buy some stuff both for like my office corner and I think I'm gonna get the Christmas tree this weekend so either way you guys will see what we're up to but I'll let you guys go and I'll talk to you in a bit good morning guys so today is Sunday um, not nothing really not nothing nothing really exciting happened this weekend I was baby free yesterday thanks to my mom because she um, babysat Maya for me for the day so I'm very thankful for that I had a whole 24 hours without a baby it was nice but <laughs> I do miss her now so it's like 10 o'clock and I'm going to pick her up so technically like she was gone for like 24 hours but I kept checking up on her like I'd message my sister and I'm like how is she doing is she being good like can you send me a snap because I know if I asked my mom she she would get in her feelings because my mom gets mad when we in her mind she thinks we're trying to teach her how to take care of our kids and it's like no it's like I'm a first-time mom so every child is different so I'm just telling you what my child likes or how she is like I'm not telling you how to parent her or how to watch her or whatever so anyways yeah my mom watched her for me and I'm very thankful for that um what happened yesterday like we just ran errands and then I went home I took a three hour nap listen listen you don't understand how small things are how do I say this you don't understand how much of the little things we take for granted until you're deprived of it. Never would I just take a three hour nap and not worry about where the kid is, if she's up, if she's hungry, if she's doing something she's not supposed to. So I was happy about that. And then I woke up, I did laundry, I cleaned, and then we went out to dinner. 
that was a flop um i don't know i took some footage on my phone because i forgot the camera at home i don't know if i'm gonna add the footage to here or not but basically like i was craving steak and then we went to this place and like the appetizer was good of course it, it was spinach dip you can't mess up spinach dip and we were having drinks and whatever and then i ordered the steak my steak came looking like that shit was sitting out forever like it, it was at least a day old um i asked for a medium well which means like you have a sliver of pink inside of it honey the whole thing was just like brown rubber like i was like what the hell is this then the brussels sprouts looked dry as hell the guy said they were caramelized i'm like these aren't caramelized they were like literally flaky and dry like you know how like when you cook them and then they sit out and then all the moisture is just sucked out of them and they were they're just flaky i'm like there's no way these are fresh though and then the potato the loaded potatoes look disgusting like they were coagulating i'm like this, this shit is not fresh so i sent back my food and i'm the type of person if i send back food i don't order anything else just because i'm very paranoid maybe it's because of that slim shady song where he spit in the onion rings but anytime i send food back i don't order anything else so it was a flop and then i just came back home and i was like eh, so much for that like the thing is you can't really do anything now because it's cold as hell over here like i think this is like this is that lull where people are getting used to the cold weather so no one is really going out i don't think people start to go out to like the holiday start like december and stuff like that so either way I, I was just not trying to go out and i'm like this is the one time i get to be baby free i'd rather spend it catching up on sleep than going out and partying and doing what young kids do so yeah anyways i'm going to go pick up maya i don't know what else we have to do tonight but i'll keep you guys posted Sorry about the light. I can't really fix the lighting situation that much. I have you guys sitting in the cabinet. Uh, yeah. Uh, so today I wanted to make some pizza from scratch. And basically right now that's what I'm kind of doing. I'm following this online easy step recipe. So I have um, a cup and a half of water. And I put um, one tablespoon of um, quick yeast in it because I put four one-fourth teaspoon so I think that equates to one tablespoon or no that equates to one teaspoon sorry one teaspoon so um, yeah I'm just gonna pour it into a bowl they had me well they said to leave it for five minutes so I just did that so this is what it looks like I'm just going to twirl it so that the stuff from the bottom can come out and now it says to whisk sugar, oil, and salt into the yeast mixture. So I'm a sugar, two tablespoons of sugar. Where's my table? Okay. Two tablespoons. Where's my sugar? Yeah. They can't see you, boobies. Maya was just like waving to the camera, but it's too high. What the hell? You know you don't use something often when... Ratchet. Ratchet. What? No, not, you don't say that. You don't say it. Two tablespoons. Maya, be careful. And then two teaspoons of salt. Mike, can I get this? Give me this. Give me this. Give me this. Okay. I'll just use this. Okay, so two teaspoons of kosher salt, which this is. This. Can you 
you give me this? No? Okay. I'm gonna ah. put it in my damn coffee. Yes. This? Can I get this? Oh, open me. Thank you. You can have the spoon. Here. Thank you. Messy. Messy. All right. So I got the kosher salt. I got the sugar and oil. I think it's olive oil. So one fourth cup of, oh, that's a lot. Y'all using up all my damn oil, sis. Huh. And y'all excuse my kitchen, but it's a rental, so I can't really make that many changes. Of course, I do want to change the wallpaper because I feel like that's the only thing. Well, they won't let me paint the cabinets, so I feel like changing the wallpaper and just making it all white, or sorry, covering it with wallpaper and making the backsplash all white will kind of make this look a little less worse with these colored cabinets, so... We'll see. I have to place an app. Oh, be careful, huh? I have to place an uh, AliExpress order tonight, and then we'll see how that goes. Or maybe I'll just buy it off of Amazon. Um, oh, yeah. So I just got to mix this up. I'm going to use a spoon. Oh, okay. Okay, so, oh, it says to whisk it. Hey, let's whisk it. It smells weird. I think it's the olive oil. So I'm just whisking the mixture. And then I feel like I should put you guys lower so you can actually see. But then you can't really see my face. Okay, that's fine. Not that you guys are watching from my face, but... Alright, and then it says to... Add flour and stir until a sticky dough forms. Four cups of flour. Two. Three. I guess I have to put some elbow grease into this and well be gentle too. It's like stuck inside of the thing here. Alright guys, so this is what my pizza dough is looking like. And so I'm just going to put some pizza sauce on it. Yeah, clearly not the neatest thing, but eh. And I'm just going to use this to spread it out. Hopefully this tastes good or else won't. Uh, maybe put some more tomato sauce on it. Just a little bit more. And then I actually was thinking of putting some barbecue sauce on half of it, just this kind of experiment. So we'll see if that turns out okay. So I'll just first do this side. Not as easy as I thought, so I'll just do that and just tap it on there. Oh crap, okay, let me stop before I make it even worse. And then I'm just gonna add some mozzarella cheese.
Yeah, I like it really cheesy, so I'm going to put a whole lot more. I think that should be enough. And then I'll put some more on top before it finishes. And then I diced up some pepperoni, and I'm just going to put it all over. And yeah, I think that should be it. So I'm gonna put it in the oven. I think they said at 500 degrees for 12 minutes. Do not quote me, cause we'll see if this actually works out. But I'll come back and show you guys the finished product. All right guys, so this is the pizza after it's done. I kind of dug into it just to make sure that it was cooked, but it looks really nice and I think it's gonna taste good as well. So we shall see.